Today I bring you a video on the automatic antenna tuner. So this is quite a popular uh, tuner nowadays on the internet and you can find it practically on most of the sites like Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, Alibaba. I think so it is available everywhere. So we also uh, do make these uh, antenna tuners at Inkits. Uh, we uh, have uh, successfully provided these tuners to many amateurs in India. So for uh, letting them know how they operate, I'm just making this uh, short video so they know uh, what are the functions. So let us go straight over to the tuner and see what are the functions. On the front panel we have this OLED which displays the power, SWR, inductance and the capacitor value. So basically all the parameters are shown on the OLED. So uh, what functions we have on the front panel? We have the OLED for display. We have the tune button. If you press it for a short, short while, it will basically go into reset. If I just press it short for a momentum, for a moment I press it, it has done the reset. If I press it for a longer time, then it starts tuning. So the function of the tune switch is to manually tune the uh, antenna tuner so you have to press it you have to give a long press until it starts tuning so that's the function and uh, we have two more buttons uh, which is auto and bypass so this auto button if you uh, press it once after uh, you transmit uh, then it automatically selects the correct position or the best possible SWR position for your tuner so your antenna uh, gets perfectly matched and what we have uh, the next button is bypass so this bypass button is meant if you do not do not wish to uh, use the tuner so use you uh, just press this once after transmitting so it will bypass the tuner and get directly connected to your antenna it will the tuner uh, will uh, the microprocessor or the tuner itself will not be in the way and now you're directly connected your transmitter or transceiver is directly connected to the antenna so uh, this is basically the front side of the tuner now let us go to the rear side uh, what another tuner I'll bring this up so on the rear side we have 12 volts antenna out antenna in and ground okay so the 12 volts you connect we have provided, provided a lead DC lead which you connect to the 12 volts antenna out this is basically your way your antenna connects antenna in where your transceiver this is the place this is the socket where your transceiver is going to get connected okay so don't uh, mix this up don't connect don't interconnect or cross connect these wires this is very important antenna in is RF in and antenna out is RF out so basically I hope you've got it don't mix this up it's quite important so again I repeated antenna in is the in input to the tuner from your transceiver and antenna out is going to your antenna so hope I am clear on this and we have a ground connection if you want to use for a specific use for any particular antenna then you can use this ground connection also 
So I think so I have explained it very clearly what are the functions of this tuner. Okay, I will give a short demo also how this is going to work. So you give us power press, short press, short press once it's reset. Okay, now I have a transceiver out here. I'll press the CW mode, PTT, I'll press the PTT for CW mode and observe on the tuner. Now either I can use the tune or I can use the auto tune. So let us try uh, the tune first. Okay. Here I have released the carrier. So here we have 1.46. So this is done. The SWR is adjusted. Now this is in the memory. Now if, you, if I... Okay now my microphone has switched off the PTT function. So I switch it on again. Here. Again I'm at 1.47. That means uh, that this microcontroller memory, the memory of the microcontroller has stored this value. So again, if you press it, the re uh, reading is already over there. So this basically shows the demo, how this buttons are to be used. And likewise, you can use this auto button. So if I show you again, how this auto button is going to be used, I'll just reset this again. Okay. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, now it's done. Reset. Now, I'll again press the PTT. Yeah, the press the PTT. Now I'll press the auto switch. What's happening? It's not doing its job. some problem with the switch yeah it has done the job actually it, was, it is supposed to be pressed only once I pressed it two or three times <laughs> that's not the correct way I thought the switch is not working but it is working so I'll do it again I'll give it a reset I think so all these equipments uh, equipments um, take some time till you get used to them and once you are used to them uh, you can operate it with comfort okay I'll just try it again I'll release the carrier okay let me press this I think so it has stored the previous value so I have to clear it reset it yeah let me see whether it has reset has been done correctly or not still going over there so I think so reset has not been done let me clear it Let me try now. Yeah, it has done now. Now it's showing as WR 1.40. So my frequency is 14.063. I am getting an SWR of 1.40 Output power is 76 watts 
Okay. So I switch this off. So that's it. I think so. I've given a demo and that should be satisfactory for you to use uh, this tuner. Thanks.